Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to read scatter plots. So let's review what a scatter plot is. A scatter plot is a type of graph that has many points on it to show a possible relationship between two sets of data. Scatter plots are meant to show correlations or no cor correlation to describe the type of relationship between two data sets. Correlations can be positive, negative, or there can be just no correlation at all. This is an example of a scatter plot. In this scatter plot, what kind of trend can you see? When I look at this scatter plot, I can see that <coughs> the points are generally going from a higher point to a lower point. As this axis is increasing, this axis is decreasing. So I can see some sort of negative trend here. There is a downward trend and therefore there is a negative correlation. So these are the different types of correlation. There can be positive, negative, or relatively no correlation. In a positive correlation, when one axis increases, the other axis also increases. So in positive correlation, both axes are increasing at the same time, and the data points are moving in this general direction. In a negative correlation, the data points are moving in this direction, and as one axis, as the x-axis axis increases, the y-axis is decreasing. So the points are gradually going down. And then for graphs that don't show any kind of trend, they are said to have no correlation at all. Graphs can also show different kinds of patterns. In what we saw before, we saw positive and negative correlations. We didn't talk about what kind of pattern they were. In these two graphs, the patterns are linear. The data points are creating a positive line, so the relationship is positive linear. In uh, this graph, the data points are making a negative line, so the relationship is negative linear. Those graphs have linear associations. However, this graph still has some sort of trend happening. There's not no correlation going on, but it's definitely not a straight line, so that it's not a linear association. This type of pattern would just be described as nonlinear association. Another way to describe the correlation of a scatter plot is the strength of the correlation. A correlation is stronger when the points are closer together. For example, this graph has data points that are creating a positive linear association and the points are very close together, so it is a strong positive correlation. In this graph, it's still a positive linear correlation, but the data points are further apart, so the correlation is not as strong and therefore it's cate categorized as weak. Some data sets can have outliers. An outlier is a data point that is very different than the other data points or does not fit the pattern. In this example, there are two outliers. See how this is the pattern that most of the points are creating and then there are these two outliers that do not fit the pattern and are far away from all the other points. So if the outliers are included in the in the graph or in the data collection or calculation that you create with your scatter plot, the outliers can weaken the strength of the, of the relationship between the two variables. Sometimes outliers are ignored because there is most likely a reason other than the relationship between the two variables that is affecting the data. Another characteristic that can show up in your scatter plots are clusters which are distinct groups formed by data points. 
Clusters can show different groups of data points. So in this example, there is a cluster of students with lower scores and a cluster of students with higher scores. These can help categorize the people who were included in the data collection. You should be able to identify clusters when looking at a scatter plot. This graph shows the number of sales an ice cream store has on a certain day and the temperature of that day. What kind of relationship is shown? Are there any outliers? So in this graph, we have temperature of the day in Celsius and ice cream sales. So when looking at this graph, I see that the data points are gradually going in this direction. So as the data points are going up on the y-axis, they're also going up on the x-axis. And therefore, this is a positive correlation. I would also describe this as a strong positive correlation because the data points are fairly close together. There are no outliers in this data collection um, because all of the points are pretty close together. But if there is a point like out here or over here, those would be considered outliers. In review, these are the correlations that you should be able to recognize and understand. So we have strong positive, increase on both axes, strong negative, increase on x-axis but decrease on y-axis, no correlation where the, all the data points are just super far apart, and then weak positive and weak negative, where they're still showing correlations, but they're just the data points are just a little bit further apart.